Well, hello. I'm bringing you something a little bit different than, than usual. I'm bringing you a little freebie. Uh, I'm basically sharing like uh, a Notion template uh, for for some something I created for myself for my job hunt. Uh, yes, it's the job on tracker trademark. Um, it's basically a, a Kanban board so that you can uh, track the status and, and all the activities you've been doing on your job hunt. Of course, it's uh, very uh, designer focused, so uh, you can see like several steps of the process, like the portfolio review is the exercise or workshop that really just applies to designers. Like I guess developers could have uh, the exercise or workshop or an assignment, um, and 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 so like adjust it. Like you can later adjust it to your to your needs. Uh, this is mine. Uh, uh, let's talk about it a little bit. I hit the 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 companies. Um, I hit the companies because uh, I felt like it was a bit of a privacy issue with uh, with maybe everyone knowing exactly where I'm applying for, and 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 maybe some some people getting a bit upset with uh, the ejected column. Uh, but uh, that's that's life. So I'm just gonna kind of give you an overview. Uh, we start with the backlog. So here you'd write like uh, any anything that you want to do. What happened really started right? Like uh, uh, like you'd start with adding the the role name and and what you're trying to to achieve. Right in this case, I'm I'm using it pretty much for spontaneous stuff, the for spontaneous applications that I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, because of many reasons, maybe I haven't updated the portfolio enough to feel like I have a shot at, at these big fish, mostly for big fish, like, uh, no, I'm not gonna lie, there's Spotify somewhere here, almost for sure, uh, like, you can, you can guess that, right, like, um, then we have the received column, this is pretty much for jobs that pop up in your inbox on on your linkedin messages uh recruiters reaching out to you make sure to document that also uh even if you're not needing to report activities to maybe like the unemployment agency or something like that it might still be good for you to to know how much effort it took for your job hunt to 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 be successful uh, then we have the scent and the scent is like stuff that you apply for uh and 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 so like uh, people that you reach out to, like hiring managers that you reach out to, like you name it, like things that you trigger yourself. Uh, we have the interviewing, should be kind of obvious, like uh, you should move stuff along, like from, from column to column according to the progress you're doing, according to the status of, of the process. Uh, in this case, like I have three three processes that I'm interviewing for. Uh, I haven't reached portfolio review on anything yet, for instance, but if you reach that step, this is your your job, your application card, your role card would come to the portfolio review. Same goes with exercise and workshop, and then hopefully you get to the job offer point. But m most of the times you do maybe this. Uh, I really don't like this column, but unfortunately it's reality for everyone. Uh, so. Uh, I'm a bit against like uh, working for free and take home assignments. I don't think they really like uh, have a much value. You're not going to be working uh, on a vacuum. You're going to be collaborating with other designers and stakeholders. So it's a bit silly that we still like uh, force this. I think it it's due to having like read that that's a good thing on on some design or design management books. Like I know several that recommend it. Uh, even though there are some that are at least uh, honest enough to say that mm, I'm not sure if this is so much value, but this is what people do. Um, in the case you don't get to the job offer, you might get rejected. You put it here. Ejected is when you reject the the, the position because you don't think you're a culture fit or you think uh, it doesn't match what you want to do right now. So eject column. You can see it's a bit full, especially because I've been getting a lot of like roles that really don't match what I'm looking for right now. Uh, and then you have the ghosting. I kind of need to fix this to ghost it. Uh, this is just, you move it here when you feel like mm, you're not going to hear from these people or mm, you're not have, you haven't heard from them for a while and, and, and you want to kind of like put them in a place that, uh, that maybe you can reach out to them or 
put them in a place where you, you can just know that maybe you're never gonna hear from hear from them again, and and so you've been basically ghosted. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, figure out one of them that's not. So I don't know. I'm just gonna go to the to the actual uh, template that I created. So I created the. A new page here, like uh, my own personal uh, public space. Uh, for now, I only have the job on Trucker. Uh, you can uh, you can download it from here. I'm gonna add the link on the description. Uh, you can always buy me a, a Fika with with PayPal. Like, just send me like fifty kroners, five dollars, whatever. Like, if you like what I what I gave you, like if you feel it gave, gives you value, just give me some some maybe like small amount, significant uh, or symbolic amount, like I'm not asking really strongly for it, like even though I already took a little bit of a rent on this one. Uh, but let's go to the job hunt tracker. So you can see like, now it's all empty. I removed my companies, remove everything. I have here what, what I hid from the other one, the job, uh, the company name. Uh, and then you would open it. And you can see that we have a few properties over here. So we have the application status, of course. We have the type. So uh, it's a job ad. It's a recruiter message. It's a spontaneous application. Someone from your network made an intro. Uh, you sent a message. You got sent a message from from your network, or reached out to someone. Uh, feel free to like customize and have your own categories. I feel these are pretty pretty common. Uh, then you have the company, pick one that you, you already have, or just uh, write uh, dummy to create one, put the color on it if you want to be like precious about it, don't if you don't, do your own thing, have fun, uh, you're gonna you're gonna need to have a little bit of fun when you're in job hunting. Uh, then the link to the job ad, uh, the rec recruiter name so, or talent acquisition name, the email so that you can reach this person very quickly, uh, and then figure out who's the hiring manager, uh, maybe get this name, uh, and or maybe even a link to, to LinkedIn, uh, get the email, and then you can say like you you message this person or you apply to this job on a certain date. Uh, then I have the created time just if you forgot, most likely you created this in the same time that you applied. If not, all good. You can add more properties if you want. Uh, I feel like these are more than enough. More than this, it will be a lot of short work. Um, you can add a comment here if you want to just have a quick uh, shout out to to inform you later. And then I, I have like similar structure on, on all of them, which is like, uh, and you can do your own structure, but I start with a to do like, for instance, like reply to the recruiter. Yeah, I already did that. Uh, and then it's like interview with TA and you do that. And, and so you kind of keep like a task list for, for the things that you need to do for this specific job application or, or job or recruitment process, whatever you want to, to call it. Um, then when you have interviews, I, I kind of like create this interview section and then I create a new page and then I go, I'm not gonna, this is not the focus of, of this video, but like, uh, if it's with the talent acquisition, who are you talking to so that you don't remember, don't, don't forget the person's name on the interview, uh, who, where was this person born? Like, where are they? What do they care about? And then a little bit about the role a little bit about the company. So we use this as a kind of like a script, almost script, like a bullet point uh, list for, for your interview. And that's pretty much it. Like uh, you can find the link to this template for, for Notion uh, on the description and have fun with it and good luck with your job hunt. Catch you later.